For more content, please consider subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it. What's up guys and welcome back to our channel with our first two stops successful and in the books as we cruise through Amarillo, Texas, we're going to continue over the state lines into New Mexico and forge ahead down the mother road. And welcome to another episode of Smith and Lolly Takes Route 66. So stick around all the way to the end of the video and let's see where the adventure takes us. Today's adventure finds us on the road on Memorial Day 2024. Memorial Day is a United States holiday that is celebrated the last Monday of May and it also acts as the unofficial start to the summertime. The purpose of the holiday is to remember all those U.S. service men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice and honor and duty to this great nation of ours. So although this video will be posted well after the holiday, I hope you had a safe and wonderful one. And I hope you took time out of your day to remember all those who have fallen and all those who came before us. Semper Fi, always faithful. God bless the USA. Route 66 is considered America's most famous road. And I bet you're probably wondering, how did that ever happen? And what happened? Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about that a little bit. So let's take it back to the beginning. There's a gentleman by the name of Cyrus Avery, who was one of the founders of Route 66 way back in the 1920s. And he strove to create a road that would connect the Midwest to the West. Though he resorted to some promotional tricks and some wheeling and dealing to get it done, the road quickly became a key route for migrants who were escaping the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression, forming its early reputation as the Mother Road. With so much travel up and down the road, it gave new inspiration to generations of entrepreneurs. And soon, the highway was filled with roadside attractions diners, and motels, which became home to a lot of travelers. Though the road was eclipsed by the interstate highway system dating back to the 1950, it still remains a vital part of our history till this day. Route 66 is more than just a road, it's a traveler storybook with many chapters along the way. Prior to the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the roads weren't always kind to our black citizens. And the Green Book, or better known as the Negro Motorist Green Book, or the Negro Traveler's Green Book, was an annual travel guide that was published from 1936 to 1964 by Victor H. Green. And it was intended to provide African American travelers with lodging, dining, and other information necessary to stay safe and comfortable during the era of segregation prior to that act being signed. Fortunately, for many African Americans who were traveling along Route 66, they would come to find that there were several black friendly or African American friendly or colored friendly options along the way, with Arizona boasting the most with eight. Fun fact, the world famous song, Get Your Kicks on Route 66, was performed by legendary black singer Nat King Cole and the King Cole Trio. Route 66 was written by Bobby Troop, but was performed by Nat King Cole. All right, all right, all right. Continuing on our journey. Now, we've just crossed over the state lines into New Mexico, and we're going to be swinging by our first stop 
in our first city in New Mexico, which is Tucumcari. Tucumcari is actually a, a very iconic place. It too was on the Green Book list, but we tried desperately to stay at the Blue Swallow Motel, which is an icon in its own right. Unfortunately, they were booked up and wind up staying at an Econo Lodge, which was okay, but nothing special. But what makes the Blue Swallow very special is that after the original owners passed away, it was purchased by a woman named Mrs. Lillian Redmond and her husband. They bought the motel and they successfully operated it. Now, right from the start, they always put their customers first to the point that when guests didn't have enough money for a room, the Redmonds accepted personal belongings in trade or even provided the room for free. And Mrs. Redmond and the Blue Swallow became icons of Route 66 folklore. She's been quoted as saying, I end up traveling the highway in my heart with whoever stops here for the night. After we checked into our motel, it was time to feed the kids. We passed by Dell's on the way in and looked it up on Google and seen that they had a lot of reviews. Really good reviews. And it looked lively and popping, so we wanted to check it out. And that's just what we did. And we're going to bring you guys inside with us. So uh, let's see if this place is Smith & Lolly approved. Thank We're you, live Appreciate here you. in Tucumcari, New Mexico, <laughs> live at Dell's Restaurant that opened in 1956. Is that true? Still operating, yes. Oh, cool. And we're live here on Route 66 here in Tucumcari, New Mexico. Nice. So Dell's restaurant was very nostalgic. Um, it was a nice place. It was very homey, you know, felt welcome and inviting. It, it had that old school feel. It wasn't, you know, anything fancy. Uh, but it also, it didn't have that same like kind of cheesy feel. as like a Applebee's or Chili's, but just a real like Western, come on in, eat dinner at Meemaw's house type of feel. So if you find yourself driving through Tucumcari, um, whether it be a road trip, business trip, or just for nostalgic sake, uh, I would recommend swinging through Dell's. Even if you're not going to get a bite to eat, they do have a uh, surprisingly decent-sized souvenir shop. It's a little bigger than, than the video even probably gives it credit to be. Um, nice stuff, and there are all types of stuff, as you can see, from magnets to cool, like they have shirts, they have hats. They have, you know, anything most gift shops will have, plus uh, little, you know, homey, feel-good items. Now let's talk about this food here. 
Previously in the video, you probably saw that they do have a full salad bar. Looked pretty yummy, has soup and everything. However, I wanted this brisket barbecue burger with fried okra on the side. That thing was delicious. Lolly went with their uh, BLT and she got a baked potato on the side. The BLT was actually pretty good. The bacon was really crispy. Being from Texas, we like a little thicker toast, but it was it was actually good. Uh, the kids got some mac and cheese. X had fries for his side. The fries were really good. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Those green beans that London got though, oh, they were amazing. Had some bacon bits in there. It was really good. Uh, Kiara ended up with just the grilled cheese, but overall, it was delicious. The food was good. Dell's restaurant is Smith and Lolly approved. If you're in the area, swing by and get you a bite. I give them about a 3.5 on the Smith scale. Now, before we go, I don't want to come across as a prick, so I do want to take a moment to acknowledge where we uh, spent the night. Like I said, it was Econo Lodge. It was no frills. It was a motel. Now, I guess Smith and Lolly and our children, we've gotten a little bougie. We never, Dave's never stayed in the motel. Back in the day, that's all we did. But um, it was my first time. I wanted to let the kids see what it was like. It was, it was all right. It was two beds. They had a refrigerator. We had our pets with us. We had Beans and Bailey with us this time. So we had to look for places that was pet friendly. It served its purpose. I wish the bathroom was a little cleaner because I was like, I'm not even using that shower. I just got up and did a horse bath you know, in the morning. Um, but it was a place to lay our head down. The guy who checked us in was super nice. He was a great guy. He was very, very, like very nice uh, gentleman. Uh, I should have took his picture and maybe gave him a shout out. But so he kind of lodged his listening. He was great. You're a housekeeper, you know, could use some work. The room itself was, it was I. Right. It was older. Could have used a little bit more work, but it wasn't filthy. I've seen worse. You know what I mean? So um, I didn't, they served breakfast. We personally didn't weren't really interested in it we got something on the road but uh yeah so you know thank you they did have a pet area which they don't have grass out there it was weird it was like gravel and rocks so the dogs were looking at us like uh excuse us this is below our standards but you know um it worked out and they had a very pretty view in the morning i went out there and i uh, was able to see like the mountains and stuff so shout out to econo lodge would i stay there again eh probably not more than likely not but it served its purpose for the road trip all right y'all so thank you this is going to do it for this video we appreciate you for joining us i hope you learned something we got a few more videos to go on our journey on route 66 and uh yeah check out the other videos man like comment subscribe please we like feedback if you get to stay in these places or you go by any of these uh, landmarks, let us know in the comments below. All right. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.